Hi, I'm Dr. Vandana Jain, Senior Consultant and Unit Head, Department of Gynae Oncology, Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and Research Center, Delhi. Today, I'll be speaking about robotic surgery. The robotic surgeries were US FDA approved for use in gynae cancers since 2005. Rajiv Gandhi has been in the forefront of robotic surgeries since 2011. We have performed the greatest number of robotic surgeries in Asia for oncological cases. The various complex radical surgeries are being performed at our center for various cancers, be it head and neck cancers, gender cancers, GI cancers, or gynecological cancers. Gynecological cancers, they are one area where the maximum benefit of robotic surgeries is achieved because we have to work in the narrow confines of the female pelvis and the wristed long instruments of the robotic system help us to work in such narrow confines with great dexterity and great precision. The view is magnified around 10 times. We have 3D depth perception. The tremors are filtered. The surgeon is less fatigued and the camera is stable. The chances of conversion to open surgery is very less. Also, we have seen our survival outcomes are not affected by using robotic platform. We perform various forms of complex radical procedures with the most common cancer which we deal with robotics being endometrial cancer. Around 80 to 90 percent of endometrial cancer cases in our center are being dealt robotically. And we have seen excellent outcomes of such patients when they go out to their home on day three or day two with smiling faces. Nothing is like that. The various other cancers which we do robotically are restaging surgery for incompletely staged cases, early ovarian cancer cases when we need to do the staging for them and the mass has already been removed outside. Then pelvic nodal dissection, paraiotic nodal dissection, sentinel node mapping, even omentectomies. And also we do the inguinal nodal dissection for CA vulva cases robotically. In recurrent cases for CA cervix, when it's a central pelvic recurrence, it can also be dealt robotically. And we are usually doing a robotic anterior or total pelvic excentration for such patients. We have our data and we have seen good outcomes for such patients with lesser morbidity and complication rates compared to the standard open conventional surgery. Robotics is a boon and especially for gynae cancer patients where we need complex surgeries, patients are morbidly obese, they have multiple comorbidities. It is actually a great technology, great innovation of science, which is here to stay and we must all embrace it with open minds and open heart. Thank you.